Hey everyone and welcome back. We are looking at week 3 weekly quests. This video will cover the completions for all of them and first one up is thank the bus driver then search a chest. We need to do this three times so all you need to do is thank the bus driver before jumping out and then when you land on the ground you are looking to open up a chest. Um, once you do that it will trigger a completion and then you need to do it in another two games after that. Don't do what I did. I did it a couple of times where I jumped out and I thought to myself actually have I thanked the bus driver, opened up a chest and it hasn't been the frustrating side so make sure that you're doing this beforehand. This will be probably one of the easiest quests we will ever get in this game um, and that's it. The second stage to that quest is travel distance while sliding covered in mud. Total 100 meters needs to be covered and the areas you're looking for are in and around Creaky Compound and Rumble Ruins, um, just those new areas. And you're looking for the wet kind of mucky surface like this here. The area, and I'll show you once we get back to the top here, um, is a great location, probably the best location on the map for doing this because if you can control your slide well enough, you should be able to get the 100 meters in one go. If not, Two goals will get it for you, absolutely no problem as you'll see here with me. Once we get to the top here, this is Sun Swoon Lagoon, kind of in between Creaky Compound and Rumble Ruins. It's just on the map here, as you can see, in this area right there. So, great location, probably the best one in the game for doing it. One go, if you control it properly, as you see here, kind of steer around through it. Um, if not, two shots. Um, so it should be absolutely no problem for getting this second stage completed. Damage opponents with assault rifles, 1000 damage needed to be done to complete this first stage. Um, assault rifles are all over the game, lying about, coming out of chests, you can buy them off at NPCs. Um, I'm not going to show you 1000 damage, I'll, I'll just do you the, the last bit where I get the 1000 damage. Um, you see it ticking off there, um, I throw up the map before so I kind of take it away from you, but it just shows you here that it's actually not there anymore because I have just completed it. The second stage of this quest is talk to characters. We need to speak to five of them. Now, I'm not going to show you the locations of the five I went to, but what I will tell you is when you go into the area that has the quests, map, augments and characters section, the characters section actually gives you the location of where the characters are, regardless of whether you've spoken to them before, which is a big change for this season compared to previous. All I would say is strategize in where you want to go. Make sure you can get to five of them if you can or you want to in one game. Um, pick ones that are located quite close to each other so that at least you might be able to get a few of them ticked off in a singular game. Or if you're lucky like I was to manage to plot your course well and get all five of them in one game. But it's relatively easy and simple to do and we'll finish off here with Paradise Mouse Ghost and he'll be coming out very soon for us. Get headshots against opponents 10 times. This can be against players or it could be against high card bosses and their entourage. Um, I've kind of done it across the piece. I, I'm just going to show you the, the quick ones I did it with, but it's all against players. Um, as I say, the easiest one is probably if you've got the high card boss and, and the rest of the guys with them, you can line up your shots before they actually open fire on you. Um, skill level will apply in this one, so it may take you a bit longer if you're perhaps not as good as aiming in the game. But the only thing I'll say is just keep at it. Eventually you'll get it done. Just aim high. Um, it's a bit harder to see it when it is shielded people. Um, when it isn't shielded, it'll come up yellow when you hit a headshot. The second part to this quest is reveal enemy players or characters. You need to do this a total of 10 times. A um, number of ways we can do this. We can find flare guns and chests, as you'll see in a moment. And what you want to do is fire that off in the location of players or characters. Um, we already know where to find the character so if you get it and you're wanting to do it instead of hunting down players do it that way as you see it'll go it'll ping you'll get the grid over the ground and there will be a red diamond above their head once it triggers it can be a bit feisty so shooting it up into there rather than down the way will do the same job the other one is augment um, bloodline will do it for you but you need to use a marksman rifle or a rifle to do that or you can look for trackers armory and Tracker's Armory will give you not just the Shadow Tracker pistol, but it will also give you a flare gun. And we can then use the flare gun to 
um, highlight characters and other players. This is a wee strategy I used and employed. Um, what you want to do is if you can find a character or a player and they're maybe a wee bit in the distance is use your flare gun against them. You'll get this marker up and then as soon as it goes away fire it back at the same location and it'll ping them again and it will count. That is the video guys. We will cover the bonus quest in a separate video because um, there's a wee bit more to talk about in that one I thought it'd be better just to get these ones up as quickly as possible for you drop a like in the video comments down below subscribe to the channel so you're in the loop for everything Fortnite quest related going forward thanks for watching bye bye